Like sands of the hourglass, so go the days of Starbase Live. I, I mean, a lot of times the sand out there is being driven by rocket propellant and thrown high into the air and then blown over neighboring communities. All good, though, it's time for another Starbase summary. Kicking it off here with the ship returning from Massey's test site. It's Ship 35 coming on the way back from a couple different tests we saw out there. Massive thanks to Gage. You see a new name over there in the watermark for rolling out and catching this thing going around the corner. That's actually where Massey's Road meets Highway 4, and it's taken a right turn from the rocket's perspective, I guess, the SPMT driver's perspective, and it's going to handle its way all the way up Highway 4. Oh, that's cool. It pulled over to let vehicles pass. I guess it stacked up a lot of traffic behind it. This was something that we haven't seen come to pass, but there's an awful lot of uh, survey markers around where they were supposed to make these pullouts along Highway 4 in various places so that uh, things like rolls of equipment wouldn't necessarily need to completely shut down the road. The equipment, the booster, ship, whatever, could pull off into this little passing zone and let a bunch of cars pass and then let it uh, continue on its way after letting cars go past. But not looking like uh, that process has started yet, unless that surveying that we've seen is for Highway 4. I've seen some, some bits about widening Highway 4, but I did not see specifically those pullouts. Maybe they're just going to widen the entire thing. We will see. Wow, the rack zoom there. <laughs> All of a sudden, zooming in on the top of Ship 35. It's like an Iron Chef thing, revealing the secret ingredient. Today's secret ingredient is <coughs> ship tiles, or something. I don't know. Pr pretty sure how that goes. Anyways, all the way back over, you can start to see some other things. There are cones and other work happening around that Starbase building and the high base. Stay tuned. I think we got some more shots of what's going on there. Those bollards are new as well, and in typical Starbase style, it's kind of difficult to see. You got the gray concrete background. You got the gray bollard with the white stripe on top. I don't know what to tell you. Orange is a nice color. Doesn't look as, as pretty, but it sure sticks out, which is sort of the point. Over here at Pad B, we've got that gantry structure. It was getting a lot of work here. And here we've got a couple folks tied off doing some detailed wrenching. We got a backup wrench and potentially a socket there, tightening something down. Those sensors, sticks, cameras, realistically a camera is a type of sensor, at least the inside of a camera includes a sensor in the most strict technical sense of the term. But either way, always interesting to see more progress on Pad B. Over at Pad A, refurbishments? Do you want to call it that? It's been a little bit since launch now. We didn't see them do a ton of repainting, but they are doing an awful lot of work around, that's the booster QD down there on the bottom. And we've been seeing them work there for quite some time. There's a worker up on top. Looks like they were looking with a, a bore scope or I don't think that was a tablet, right? It was like a big chunky looking device. So wonder what specifically is being done sitting on top of the ship QD. Nope, sorry, booster QD mechanisms. No take backs, <laughs> single take on these things. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. We just keep rolling with the commentary. An object, oh, okay, being removed from the mega bay. What in tarnation is that? It went between the mega bay and the high bay. Maybe over to the scrap slash storage yard area. There's the four-point lifter being taken out of the second mega bay there in the background. And the launch mount for pad B. Just all the little fiddly detail works. We keep seeing that happening over there on the pad. It's on the pad, on the launch pad, the launch mount for pad B over there at the assembly, storage, structural, whatever you want to call it, yard. But uh, I'm have to go through it with a fine-tuned comb to see exactly where that is. I look for the bigger strokes, like when that scaffolding goes away, so whether or not that thing may be getting ready to move. The big SpaceX crane uh, disassembly continues here, it looks like, and that's actually being stored up the road a little ways. Maybe they just don't need this to actually lift things, and they need room to work, was the premium of space there at Pad B. So potentially that's what's going on. 
such an interesting structure, that big gantry sort of coming uh, coming together, I guess you could say, on the lower left-hand side. We'll zoom in a little bit there. Mary knows the score. She knows what's going on. But those are just some beefy steel beams and triangles, too. Everybody loves a triangle. Physics loves triangles, especially when transferring loads. They also look very SpaceX-y, Starbase-y. That's a word. SpaceX-y? Space sexy? I just, just check the closed captions to see how the auto translator caught those <laughs> in any event. Continuing to work on this massive structure, I'm really curious how it's going to get cladded, filled in, what guts will go inside of it. We will surely see exactly how all of this comes together. Up on the chopsticks, pad B here. A little shorter this time. Remember, the pad B chopsticks are significantly, like, noticeably shorter than the pad A chopsticks. Anyways. <laughs> Got some gravel and some workers carrying some piping or tubing in. Little temporary fences. They move all the time in and out on either side there, but... Uh, Looks like a legitimate way to unload a pile of stuff, especially it's so sort of tight in there. Doesn't look like they have room for forklifts or larger equipment to move things around, so people just picking up, it looked like conduit or something, right? And uh, carrying it to where it needed to go is a, a legitimate strategy when you, when you need to move things around. It's pretty windy out there at Starbase. You can see that uh, lifting sling system blowing in the wind. Of course, this is time-lapsed a little bit you can see by the workers moving around there. A lot of times we don't show you this stuff in real time just because it is, uh, you'd be here for like an hour watching every video and sometimes it's just compresses it temporally down into a bite-sized bit of information when we time lapse it. Even there you can see the workers swinging back and forth, sort of swaying. Back there in the background, we sort of digitally cropped in a little bit for a transporter, an engine transporter. It's like a mini SPMT. I mean, it's self-propelled, seemingly accurate. It's modular. Can you add them together? Maybe not. Maybe you just carry one engine uh, at a time with it. And it is a transporter, so maybe it's just an SPT, self-propelled transporter, self-propelled SPRT, SPET. I don't know. You all decide what you want it to be. Here we've got test tank 16 with quotes around it because still haven't caught an official label on that as far as I'm aware. Um, or I probably should say as far as the labelers are aware. But that looks like it's heading back past the Star Factory. And here's a large pipe. Yeah, I guess that is. Yeah, that's the launch site. It's going towards the launch site away from the production and the office building there. That big green pipe. We need to go clean that camera off. Jeez. It happens. It's really tough, especially when it's windy and then it gets a little wet and then the wind blows the dust and it sticks to the camera lens. And that camera is actually about 10 feet off the ground, if I'm not mistaken. So it is tough to keep those things clean out there at Starbase. <laughs> Big yellow crane. There, we're going to see Ship 37s. Ship 37? Is that like Ship 37 is? And it's a contraction made of Ship 37 and is? So it's, a, it's an apostrophe S? I don't know. Ship 37's moved <laughs> to Mega Bay 2. Incomplete tile work. You can really see some of the interesting straight lines in the tile. They don't all particularly interlock, right? You have sort of those half tiles in places. And are those expansion, contraction joints or places where seams come together? There's the underlayment down at the bottom, sort of blowing in the wind. You can actually see it's got holes in it for all of the uh, pins, but just wasn't completely attached down there in the corners. A very, very lively camera operator here this time, like zooming in and out, showing what was going on. And then a nice steady shot from Boca Chica Gal, Mary, catching the rest of the movement into Mega Bay 2. All right. So I have, I believe I've gotten a little bit uh, confused watching Starbase Live versus knowing exactly what was going to be in the video. It looks like those preparations around Stargate and Mega, or not Mega Bay, High Bay 1 are not in there. But I think we're going to end on this note. Remember the mural, right? The mural started to fall off, and then they took it all down, and they made a new mural, and they're putting it back up. We specifically put out a camera to try and catch the work 
putting that new version of the mural up again. And there's a lot of interesting things in this. Watch this a couple times, but look at the look at the plants in the foreground. Do you see that little plant? It closes up at night. Yeah, the mural's interesting too. And then it opens up during the day. I have been, I don't know how long at Starbase, and I've never observed that because I've just never time-lapsed something with the plants in the view like this. So that is sort of a, a delightfully unintentional find. You can go back, you can actually watch them putting up the part. There you go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Gets a little bit hazy and, and tough on the contrast there at night. But you can watch them work on the mural itself, but those little the breathing of the natural world plants there in the foreground as Starbase goes upon its uh, its business in the background is super curious. In any event, folks, my name is John. Remember, you might be able to swap over to some of the other audio tracks if you don't want commentary, you just want natural noises, or you want to listen in another language. Uh, can't always get the other languages in there, but when Alex or Adrian are available, we try to add it in. But that's going to be the end of this Starbase summary. Thanks for watching. And we will see you nerds later.